Moving on to our next tool, the blade tool. We are going to be opening up Final Cut and looking at these clips. The blade tool is the next one down. Shortcut B. I'm going to select that. Um, this this tool is so useful in manipulating the clips on the timeline and rearranging them or editing them by getting rid of them. I can't say enough about this tool. I use it constantly when I'm using Final Cut Pro. Um, so I'm going to first select a clip that I want to be looking at. Okay, this one with all the cars. I'm going to put my blade tool back on. Right? I find the best method to use is to take my playhead here and line it up somewhere on the clip so that I can see it. Okay, and I will scrub over it until I find the point where I, I want to start cutting. So I'm going to line it up there with my playhead. Okay, once I find that point, I line up this bright orange indicator line, which is my blade tool. Okay, and click as I line it up. Okay, just like that. You need to make sure that you're over the clip. If it's extended like this, you need to see it closer and shorter on the inside. And that's where my playhead and clip. Okay, I'm going to move this to the side for a second. You will see a very faint dotted line now separating my clip. Okay. Um, so a quick hint for the blade tool to expedite this process is to also to hover the playhead tool anywhere on the clip. Okay. Go to this one. Right. Even if I'm currently using another tool, if I hit Command plus B, Command B, good, you have to be over it. And you will see again that this is a shortcut to get that faint dotted line down there showing that I cut this clip in half, right? Now, once you have these, completed, you can use your select tool to pick these areas up. You'll see that it's now a smaller clip. You can rearrange them as needed. Okay? Or, if I didn't want that section at all, I can just delete it. Okay? That was the blade tool.